took more skill, the goal or the uh, the blind leg block there? And- <laughs> I think one was luckier than the other. Um, uh, you know, the goal, I just just kind of got the middle there and saw a shot and put that through. But the, uh, the other one was... Uh, uh, I can't let that pass get through, and at that point, once it did, it was just kind of desperation mode and got lucky. Next question, Andrew Gross, Newsday. Hey, uh, Sammy, and I, I know you're going to point probably to the defensive structure in front of you, but, I mean, your, your game is really sharp right now. You know, uh, two, two playoff shutouts in a row just had... How does that feel for you? What, what do you think is going so right for you right now? Well, it's not obviously we play a well defensively. Of course, I'm going to mention that. Uh, you guys play unbelievable again today. I think uh, in front of me, you know, like uh, Greener makes some big saves in the first period. Uh, so I'll, I appreciate Greener. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> um, but, you know, I mean, it feels good uh, to get back to back shout out. But at this point, it, it's not about shout out, you know, with the playoff hockey. So, like, for me, the most important thing is to get, you know, the win and then uh, uh, get ready for the next game. So I'm not really focusing on that right now. I'm, of course, like, I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm not going to lie, you know, um, but it is what it is, so. Next question, Peter Schwartz. Hey, Andy, uh, can you can you talk about uh, what it's been like to play in front of of Semyon and especially the last two games and just watching him uh, you know go to work and, and do what he's done the last couple of games uh, I mean he's just he's playing fantastic he's uh, just coming he's making the the hard saves look easy and um, you know we when there are breakdowns we know he's there for us and, and vice versa you know we're, we're, we pick each other up back there and um, you know we're, we're trying to let him see the puck there trying to you know box out or get sticks and um, you know, if we can clear the traffic out, he's going to make the save. And that's what we're trying to do. And, 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 and then we go from there. As to Dave Pinota with the fourth period. Anders, um, game one in the series, usually a bit of a feeling out process that goes on. You guys, Green talked about this earlier in playing your system and your, your structure in this game. I'm just curious from your perspective, now that you've had some time to kind of reflect, um, did you anticipate the type of performance from Philadelphia in this one against you guys? You, again, you were able to contain them. Um, but did you anticipate what they brought forward, or were you expecting perhaps a little bit more jump from them in this game? You know, and I think we were we went into this game uh, looking uh, at ourselves and going out there and um, you know making sure that we did what we needed to do, and the game was going to take care of itself after that. And I think we did a pretty good job of jumping on, uh, getting the first goal, Greener, uh, Nelly making that play. I think that really uh, gave us some jump. And uh, Varley stood on his head a few times. Uh, they had a breakaway, obviously, in the first period, a couple good chances, and a uh, pretty good second period where we kind of got away from ourselves. So um, I think we, for the most part, were able to put two periods together that uh, made the difference. Next question, Andrew Gross, Newsday. Hey, uh, uh, Gigi, after you get that goal in the second period, you know, it, kind of been, you know, you had dominated five on five in the first period, second period kind of went there that way. What what kind of change did you sense in the third period and, and specifically, you know, after you were able to pot that goal? Oh, I thought we uh, we just tried to, to come back to, uh, to our game plan, put the puck deep and um, go win our battles down there. Uh, I thought we did a really solid job uh, for, for the most part of the game. And when we got away, uh, they gained a little bit of momentum. But I thought uh, Varley uh, was really solid in that uh, to keep uh, to keep it scoreless. And after that, I thought we, we played very well in front of him. Uh, the Ds were, were moving the puck well, and we were uh, in front uh, winning all of our battles. Next question, Arthur Staple, The Athletic. John Gabriel, uh, Leo and Ross may not be the, the prettiest players, but certainly it seems like they were very effective tonight, especially Ross throwing his weight around. What's it like to play with those guys and, and uh, you know, how effective do you feel like you were tonight? Oh, I enjoy. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, the player. Uh, these two guys uh, bring their 110% every, every day, every night, uh, every practice day. So it's just, uh, it's just fun to be, uh, to be part, uh, not only of play with them, but the whole group, I, I feel like we have a lot of character 
and it shows uh, on the ice.